Hello and welcome to another modern video. Today we're going to continue exploring a new shell for uh, one of the most underrated cards from uh, Kanigawa Neon Dynasty. Uh, if you listen to uh, my podcast, Mishra's Bubble, we actually talked about Hidetsugu Consume All and it was actually one of our top three cards from the set, but it turned out that uh, the card didn't really see that much play. So um, the issue that the card has obviously is the fact that it just doesn't really have a shell. Like it's not, it, that, there's no established deck that uh, can make good use of the card because it doesn't really go in Luru's decks um, but at the same time like this card is very good because Luru's exists so like it's a little bit of a dichotomy there so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find a good shell for the card and uh, the card that I already tried a similar deck list to this, it was a Yorian uh, list, you can check it out uh, with in, in my YouTube videos, uh, but I'm trying a different version now, like a slightly different approach uh, within a similar shell. Uh, but what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make a full use of the card, like the card is really good at destroying uh, stuff like everything from Ursa Saga, like it can take care of the one drops and it can also take care of the tokens uh, while, while it's at it, it kills Death Shadow, kills the RC, kills opposing monkeys, a bunch of things like that. Um, it just lines up very well against the format overall and I was very impressed uh, by the card, even in matchups that uh, I really hadn't thought about it being fantastic, but it just randomly was, for example against Amulet or against uh, like, like Prowess. So, because of that, I'm very interested in the card and I'm going to continue exploring and trying to find a good shell for it. Uh, and this is what we're going to be trying today. Like, I made a, it's a similar shell to what I played last time, except now we're narrowing it down to 60 cards, so I'm not playing Yuri anymore. Uh, but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to add some copies of Ragaman Nimble Piffer. I know that, you know, we're playing a one drop in a deck that's trying to use a card that kills one drops, <laughs> so it's a little bit of a numbo for sure. Uh, but what it does is like, if you have your monkey going, then um, like you probably are winning and don't really need to cast the Hidetsugu and uh, you're almost forcing your opponent into using a removal spell on the monkey uh, and also redundant monkeys can pitch to fury so they're not entirely dead. Uh, the only problem is that uh, by playing Ragavan, what we're doing is we're turning on our opponent's removal, which is uh, not something I'm particularly excited about, but I expect Ragavan to shine against matchup that matchups that can potentially be problematic. Uh, think about something like Amulet or think about something like uh, Tron or some of the big mana decks where Monkey allowing you to, to uh, just get super ahead of mana can uh, very often be uh, exchanged for, for the win. Uh, the rest of the shell is fairly similar. We are uh, playing, uh, you know, a couple of one mana removal spells. Of course, uh, this is modern; like the matches are fast, and you need to make sure that you you can answer uh, stuff on turn one. Dress down against like the the titans of the world and stuff like that. Counter spell uh, and expressive iteration. Terminate are all just like generically very good cards. The main reason for playing terminate is against a Merktide region specifically. We don't have that many answers to Merktide. We just have the two terminates at the three Jaces. So um, you know, sure, like counter spell and Germany Charm also answers Merktide, but <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's kind of um, it's kind of like a necessary evil. We can't really play Dr um, Drown the Lock, which is the card that uh, the edict like this would play because it just doesn't really combo particularly well with the second clause in Hidetsugu, uh, which is says Exile over, over Graveyards. Um, so Colon's Command is uh, just like a fine two for one and is just very, very good in the format. I don't think I'm going to be returning a creature very often. Now that I have Monkey, maybe I will I will be using that mode more often, but I doubt that that's what I'm going to be doing. It's just It just lines up super well in the format overall. Like destroying an artifact is, is bigger right now than it's ever been in modern, really. So um, that's kind of uh, why we're playing some K, K commands. Uh, a couple of copies of Furious against a small creature decks, of course, and then a Jace the Mind Sculptor as uh, one of our main win conditions. Uh, the mana base also was changed a little bit from the one in the Yorion deck list because, you know, cards like Cascade Bluff and stuff like that, even though in that shell made a lot of sense. In this one, I'm trying to turn one monkey, so I need to have like the actual red source on turn one, so a card like Cascade Bluff doesn't really do anything for me. Uh, that may be problematic when we have some, you know, we add some Archmage's, uh, Archmage's Charm into the picture, so I'm watching out for that for sure. 
but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. In the cyber, I'm including some copies of Blood Moon against the big mana decks uh, and the Saga decks as well, of course. A couple of copies of Collected Brutality against Aggressive Strategies. Shark Typhoon against the Fairy Time Rabbler decks. Turak against Combo. Turak, actually, I was impressed by the card in the other shell. Um, I'm, I wonder if I should add some extra black sources, because I, I only have four right here. I have, you know, the Blood Crypt, uh, Swamp, and the Two Watery Graves. So I don't really have that many black sources, because I really need to make room for the monkeys. So it is definitely a consideration that I... It is possible that I just cannot afford to play the Torak. So I'm going to be playing it because I was really impressed by the card in the previous league that I played. But uh, this uh, this may be just too much, and we just cannot support the Torak in this specific list. And like maybe we're just supposed to play Torak in a, in a version of the deck that is not playing Monkey. We're also playing some Flaster Storm and this Mystical Dispute and Force of Negation. This is of course against you know the combo decks, the control decks, stuff like that. And finally, a couple of copies of Nihil Spellbomb against the decks where uh, you know graveyard decks where Hidetsugu may be a little bit too slow. Think about Living End. Think about um, Reanimator and stuff like that. Uh, this is going to be the decks that we're going to be running through a league right now. If you're interested in supporting the stream, you can do so uh, in multiple ways. Uh, and one of the ways is by making a donation with any donation of $20 or more. I will play any a list of your choosing. I will make in a video just like this one. So if you enjoy it, you can find the information in the description of the video. And uh, if you want to support the stream for free, uh, you can always uh, leave a message with what you think about the deck, what you liked, what you didn't. And you can also like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be running uh, this list through a league, so I'll see you there for round number one. Alright, here we go, round number one. We have a turn one monkey with ways to... with a way to clear the... clear the way for it, so... Not loving the one lander, but we'll see how it goes. Hard evidence. Damn it. <laughs> now, that's fine, actually. Um... Definitely interested in... So we're playing... Oh, this has to be Affinity. I was thinking a Creativity, but Creativity would not play Sucrum Coast, obviously. So this is just um, just the Affinity deck. Um, so I imagine Fury is going to be pretty solid. Uh, definitely going to get Steam Vents here. Play Monkey, say go. And turn two, we can just go Fury, Peach, Monkey, kill the Crab, and like... Maybe if my opponent plays something else, and then we can attack and potentially hold up counter magic. I like this start. It looks pretty strong. Looks pretty strong. Uh, really showing, uh, really showcasing the power of uh, the monkey, right? Truly showcasing the power of the monkey right here. Let's see what my opponent is up to over there. All right. So much mooning, so much snaring, and so much prototyping. It's kind of cute that they can just crack the clue token here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, maybe find a bolt. No bolt. Um, man, this kind of feels like a waste, but at the same time, like I just have to do this. Like I can't just pass the turn and do nothing. Maybe I should have played my land first. Yeah, I should have played my land first. I think I'm just going to crack the clue here, though. Yep. All right. Kill that. Attack. Get in there, monkey. Force of negation? Okay. Um let's play water grave and say go. Force is definitely a good one to know about. They're playing force of negation. You got a drum, buddy. You got a drum. Nah, <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't have that one no. That one's not coming through. Maybe they have rebuke. No rebuke. 
One, two, three, four, five. Only five artifacts so they can't actually cast. Oh, they, actually they could because of the prototype. If they had another one, they could have cast it. Um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm still gonna go ahead and say that this is looking pretty solid here. Just monkey doing monkey things. Um, I could play Jace. How do we get punished if I play Jace? We just don't, right? I'm gonna fetch for a basic island. We just we just don't get punished. Like we just have so many answers to whatever they could do. <laughs> um so let's put charm and fury on top. Oh, uh, that is, this is absolutely delightful. Just get to obliterate my opponent's board. I mean, the thing is I don't have to, like I'm just still, I'm still pressing the advantage with this monkey here. And my opponents have, yeah, my opponent has nothing. There's literally no reason for me to hit a Tsugu here. Just gonna keep attacking with monkey. So let's start by getting some info. Attack, see what we get. Okay, let's brainstorm. Some good stuff in here. Um, play the island, say go. Wish I had found a fetch land there, but I mean, this is this is just garbage time. I don't think my opponent can really win here. I mean, I don't think they should concede, but I also don't think they can really win. That cleans up really nicely. All that they're playing is just playing into my hit at Sugu, so not too concerned about any of that. I am gonna cash in one of his charms for two cards. So we can get that going. Okay. Control the Fury. Yeah. It's just our deck is so good against this kind of strategy. It really is just outstandingly good. <laughs> it just lines up so well against what they're doing. And like this monkey is just... And we've been just whiffing every single time, but it just nets so much mana for us. Um, I'm gonna either aid here, just because I want to use my mana. Pull down in my hand, bottom exile, play that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pass the turn. Still no need for me to do anything. Kind of awkward that if I want a charm, I'm gonna have to, you know, crack a treasure. But like whatever, like my treasure is gonna die too. Uh, that eh, maybe should. Kill that? But nah. No way I should have killed that. Um, push this. Push that. Just gonna continue doing this thing. There's no longer that's gonna counter this, right? I'm just gonna crack the clue. Okay. Tap. Maybe that was a mistake and I should have just untapped and hard cast the fury. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like <laughs> this game's not close. Um so I definitely want that. <laughs> That's so many bangers. Jeez. I can't play all the good cards that I have. Just too many. I think I'm just gonna hide this Sugu. Just gonna hide the, the heated Sugu. Interesting. They don't go for the block. Okay. Can play Emery for one. That's so cute. <laughs> I guess we're showing the heated Sugu, but it's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven.
We're just we're, we're just so far ahead. Got a seven, seven. Maybe I should have shuffled. I definitely don't want to wait until end step for dress down um, because because I want to make sure that my monkey has abilities. Weird list that my opponent's on. Maybe they're more of an, an mid-range deck list as opposed to um, to an aggro deck list. Sure, I think that's fine. So now we're just going to K command, kill Sentinel, destroy Needle. Get another island here. Um, shock. Destroy artifact, shock. All right, sweet. Um, what are we playing against? So I think I want Blood Moons. Just a very clean answer to Saga. And I don't, even though like Monkey was obviously fantastic there, I don't think it's going to be good the vast majority of the time. So cutting them on Monkey, particularly on the draw. Maybe on the draw I just straight up want to cut the Monkey. Fluster Storm, Vitality, Torak. Just bringing disputes. Dispute counters Ursa, it counters Emery, and it counters um, Thought Monitor. So that's probably good enough. Uh, shark Typhoon is another option, but I don't think the Shark is where I want to be. Hmm. Kind of a weird mana situation that we're in. Put him almost to six. I think I'll keep this hand. Um, but I'm not ecstatic about it because you know if I if I go turn one blood crypt to make sure that I can cast terminate on two, that means I don't get to cast, cast counter spell. And if I go for you know a blue sword so I can cast counter spell that I can't terminate. So definitely we're in a little bit of a of a weird spot here. And if my opponent has a very very uh, quick start, we may fall behind pretty quickly. I still think the hand is like robust enough and we have double J so we can just, you know, throw one away in order to get a brainstorm out of the deal or like to bounce a construct, whatever. So yeah, Porn should have figured out the, what the mulligan, I mean, it's, it's probably close because, you know, they can't really keep a close hand. Like you just have to keep a very good hand. Turn one as a sentinel would be really good for them. It's not where it is though. Hit it, Sugu. It's a pretty good draw. And now that we're gonna get the Grixis Triumph, <laughs> I'm I'm really like I was pretty high on this deck before knowing that we were gonna get the Grixis Triumph, and now that I know that we are, like all of a sudden this deck looks really good. Um, yeah, this percent kind of sucks. So I'm I'm just gonna have to main face. Just gonna have to main face uh, kill the Emery here. Kind of awkward, particularly super awkward with the whole of the Storm Giants. Um, but then I can, you know, I can play Hall in turn three, still hold up counter spell. Like it's not the end of the world. And I have to kill this main face, unfortunately, otherwise my opponent's gonna get to uh, get a free as per Sentinel. So it's definitely in my best interest into the in my best interest to do that main face. So opponent can't cast an Ursa here. And they also can't cast a Thought Monitor, so not too worried about anything they could have done there. Now we can hold up Counter Spell, which is nice. I imagine my opponent's still gonna Saga anyway, but I'm not setting up for Blood Moon, that's for sure. Wait, what? Yeah, I don't think you wanna do that. 
So I think they're just going to make a construct and then tap the construct for mana with the drum. I think that's the plan. Which makes sense. Maybe just do nothing. That's also a plan. Terminate. Okay. I'm probably going to have to terminate one of these constructs. Which is not where I want to be, but it's also not the end of the world. Like, again, like if, if I do resolve Jason Mine Sculptor, then we're probably going to run away with it. Um, so I imagine my opponent gets Speedy Needle here. Uh, let me let me actually do this right now because that makes it um, that's one less artifact for thought monitor one two three they're, they're just gonna go with PD Neil there's just no other way yep do name chase so if we draw the Hiatsugu we probably just win on the spot It almost doesn't matter what they what they do. Like we just win because we're gonna be able to you know play Hidetsugu protected with counters with counter magic. We're not losing that game. Then we untap and we jace. Hidetsugu. Dress down. Yeah, that's pretty good too. <laughs> uh, that's that's also quite powerful. Uh, I'm gonna upkeep this i could also end step it but i think upkeeping is best Ooh, end step effects reality heist interesting i mean i'm probably countering this I guess that means that now they get to Ursa, but also like we like the Ursa doesn't come with a construct. Nettle cyst. Okay. That is pretty good actually. That is that is quite powerful. Um call against command, like Hidetsugu, all of those are just incredible draws. If I find, I'm probably not gonna slam the blood moon. Yeah, that's just that's just so good. So let's just discard a card, destroy artifact, red, black, one, whatever they play, we can counter. Like we take four. But then we untap. We untap and we jace just minus on the token. They have nothing going on. Um, our best draw here is any land. I don't think we have any any ETB tapped lands, so any land that we find is going to allow us to tap for mana. I'd like to find another basic island or basic swamp, I think. Any land is fine though. One, two, three, four. Boop. And now we just get to untap with Jace. Even if they are they find they find saga, we just don't care. Bubbles fine, just doesn't do anything. Just gonna counter anything they do. And now Jay's just gonna run away. As he often does. As he often does. Um, actually, I just realized that if I play this Blood Moon, they're kind of locked out. <laughs> um, so put that on top. 
Now the question is, do I want to find a basic, like I'm, I'm gonna Blood Moon here, but do I wanna find a basic swamp or a basic island? I think I'm gonna find the basic, the, the basic island. So put that on top. And if I'm gonna find the basic island, then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send the Sugu. Basic island. One, two, three. You have no colored sources now. Like, just your mana base is bad, so <laughs> you can't do anything about it. If they counter anything, I'm probably gonna go with Archimedes Charm. Um, yeah, we're gonna, uh, actually. We can just minus with Jace. It gives them colored mana for one turn, but I don't think there's anything they can do with that colored mana that I care about. Target spell. So now I can, you know, expressive iteration plus counter spell with my with my my basic situation. Okay, so no cards in hand. Let's start with uh, iteration first. See what we find. Um, another iteration. Hit it to the bottom and castle Bantress. Play the castle. I'm just not gonna risk it. Like the way that I can potentially lose this game is, you know, I just brainstorm instead of doing this and like my opponent gets to resolve something that matters because I'm not holding up counter spell. They're just, I can't lose otherwise, right? And I'm probably going to start plusing now so I can end the game with Jace. Now the question is do I, place, I plus on myself or do I plus on my opponent? I think I'm gonna plus on them. Ooh, swamp. Don't mind if I do. So, hand, bottom, exile, play swamp, plus on them. I'm just gonna bottom any castables. They don't really have that many castables. You may draw an emery. Just can't cast anything. It's Bloodman doing Bloodman things. <laughs> Classic Blood Moon. I think it just doesn't matter what they, they just can't draw anything. Thought Monitor, you may draw that, yes. Now if they do find another analysis, I am gonna counter it though, obviously, so they don't have mana from with the drum. Just gonna win with Jace. There's the kind of situations that I, you know, my opponent is is just zero percent to win. Like they just they just can't win this game anymore. I don't know why they don't, you know, just just concede here. The only way that I can lose this game is if my opponent, like, if the top of my opponent's deck is just like basic Allen into basic Allen. But at this point, we just, I mean, I just have perfect information about. I guess that they ha they have one card that I don't know about. Talic Rebuke. You may have that. Uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just so far ahead that I'm just gonna cast this Fury. This this kills faster than Jace, I guess. No. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Game one, very, very decisive victory. victory. Um, deck looked super robust. See you next round. All right. Uh, well, turn one monkey and a way to push it through. <laughs> push it through. <laughs> On the play two, <laughs> cheating. This is basically cheating. Opponent, oops, mistake. I, I definitely misclicked there. I definitely meant to, to get a, wow, hope we don't get punished by that. Um, that's a, that's a really big misclick, actually. Um, hopefully we don't get punished. So we're up against Prismatic Ending. Man, I would be able to hold up, I would be able to hold up Armage's Charm here. 
now my opponent can <clears throat> can do some stuff here. Fortunately, they don't. Ugh. Ice instead of fire. Okay, weird. Um, here's my iteration. Um, well, that sucks. So bottom, bottom, exile. Play this out, tapped, say go. Wow, that's such a big mistake. Like this could be a <laughs> this could be a steam bend. Big yikes. <clears throat> big big yikes. Archmage's charm. Um I mean I can just push this. Oof, I minus? Oof, that's so much better. Um, funny. Uh, no, yeah, we're definitely we're definitely putting Jason minus in here. If the, my opponent has force, that's bad, but I think that's just so good for me. <laughs> uh, well, now um, <laughs> now I got my monkey back. <clears throat> Not hitting a land drop there is is huge, obviously, but but now we hopefully I, I imagine we end up with Jace. I guess my opponent could have March of whatever. But that would be like not even a two for one. Like they use their spell and like they achieve nothing. And they would need to like spend two mana plus exile a card from their hand in order for March to kill the Jace. So like that's I don't know. It's, it's not a good deal for them. <laughs> Regardless of what it is, it's it's not a good deal. Counter spell is good. <clears throat> Um, yes, this is what I want to see. So push out. Actually, push kills hole. So maybe push is better than bolt. Um, I think I'm going to ship the Sugu. I think so. Man, that's <laughs> the entire... This entire game, it's... It's just punished by my mistake, but by, by the stupid misclick. Uh, nope. Counter spell. Pew. This plays around a uh, prismatic ending super nicely too. It plays into chalice, but make it just fine. Exciting Deluge, don't mind if I do. Uh, it also plays around uh, another Archmage's Charm. <clears throat> Maybe I should have kept Sugu and just like play a Sugu as is. Also, I guess the Dashed Monkey works so well against Sugu. Also, we just want to. Um, that was kind of sick. All right, uh, Blue White Control. That's a, that's a lot of good cards that we got here. And we get to cut a lot of stinkers. Um, Sugu probably not at its best here. Monkey, I do like, however. Sugu does answer Chalice, though, which is not nothing. The question is, do we want Blood Moon or not? I think we do. I think we do, but it's not... No, actually we don't. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll play the first copy. Maybe let's play it on the play and just not on the draw. Because um, I'm thinking that, you know, we're playing Torak, right? And we literally cannot cast Torak unless we we get a million hits from Monkey. Um, we got one more card. I guess Sugu is a card and it does kill Chalice. Yeah. Maybe terminate. Is there anything to terminate kills like Hall of the Storm Giants? But if I'm doing that, or like opposing Shark Typhoons, but if I'm doing that, then just push does that better. So I think terminate is just a worse push. Push does get got by Chalice though, so that's that's definitely something. Um, solitude, like this kills Solitude. Sure. I guess. Like, it's still not great. 
Still not great. Also, my opponent did not exile Kahira, which is kind of confusing. Anyway. One lander on the draw, but like a sicko one lander. Okay, let's keep this. I'm greedy like that. We did not bring in moons. Okay. I don't want to pitch this Sugu because this is a red card that I can pitch to Fury. Land. Easy. Um, let's get Watery Grave. Play that and say go. Land. Okay, um, just gonna do res here. We get force if my opponent has the fairy. And not going to this card seems like a, just like a really, really important thing to happen here. Sure, I would try with a counter spell. I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, it would have been better if we had hit a land drop, but. <clears throat> Don't have the dispute. Sweet. All right. Land. Easy land. Um, do I want to just cast a Sugu here? And have a 3-3 three, three in a couple of turns? Nah. I mean, I just don't have to. Would love to find another white sword, another blue source, monkey. Sure. And I'm just gonna cast so I can hold up an interaction. Because if, if I dash and my opponent just casts solitude, like I just get super blown out, right? <clears throat> and now I'm just gonna counter spell their, their solitude. If they have second solitude, that's bad for me, but. But if they have second solitude, they kind of have to do it main phase. Point again, also just ending here. Yeah, just main phase solid. That's fine. Land. Ugh. There's something special about keeping a one lander and then getting getting thoroughly and just <laughs> and justifiably punished. Um Opponent's two lands ahead of me. Where they're not, at least they're not resolving anything. And they're not really getting value or anything. Another solitude. I mean, that's kind of pretty good. Memory deluge. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad for us. I think if I had a force, I would have just hard cast the force on that. But since it's just a counter spell, like my opponent can still get value. <clears throat> Man, this sucks. I'm just falling far behind uh, very quickly here. Okay. So I'm gonna jam this Jace because this is my avenue to victory. So I want my opponent to not deluge this turn. 
and I'm trying to set up a Torak. So I'm just jamming into my opponent's uh, alleged counter magic here, which they're very likely to have. Um, because I don't want them to spend their mana just flashing back Deluge, and I want to get cards out of their hand. I guess I guess they do get to Castle Ventress, which is bad for me because they had the counter spell there. Um, the Wandering Emperor. All right. If I find a Black Source. Next turn I can Torak. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Next turn I can Torak with Kicker. One, two. They shocked. I can Torak with Kicker with Dispute Backup. Fluster. That doesn't do it. Um. I mean, I, I just have to do this. You can block their samurai. Samurai, 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 samurai. Huh, I wonder. Um, we do have Dispute and Fluster. My opponent showed me Fire Eyes last game. Just gonna activate Castle there. No. The first copy of Fluster is going to get countered by the Chalice. That's also important to keep in mind. But all the other copies are going to go through. Pony left two cards on top. Big yikes. Big yikes. They don't have that many cards in hand. So hopefully what they, what they kept is like counter magic. Uh, okay. Block. Dress down? No dress down. Okay. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, look. A land. That would have been great five turns ago. Um, I guess if upon, they can activate Hall. And I get caught by it. So I guess I'm just gonna chill here. You can steal their dude. Unfortunately, I feel like we have to do that. Still have one more Torak, so. I'm probably going to fetch for another Water Grave here. So, two, two. Fury. <laughs> Turtle. <laughs> Play around the, the other Torak, get punished by drawing the other red red card. Like, literally the only one, because <laughs> the other Fury is just gone. Yikes. So I guess on my opponent's end step... Uh, actually, I could... I could um, I could charm right now, which makes my fluster better, because fluster is kind of dead right now. Fluster, so I get to cash in my fluster for any value at all. I mean, opponent still has two cards in hand, so like I'm I'm not looking good here by any means. But at least I get value from this otherwise dead fluster storm. And now I can start pressuring this thing. Prismatic ending. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Say so they can't activate hold this turn. Put a token. I 
I probably have to yellow here. I don't think it's gonna work, but it, like it's only getting worse for me because my opponent has so much more mana than I do and they're like getting value from castle every turn. So like this obviously sucks for me, but I think it's kind of what I have to do. Um, I do get to attack the Emperor this turn. I don't know what gets us out of this though. Maybe a Jace resolving? If I find another Jace and somehow it resolves, that would be Jace number three. Get seven. <laughs> All right, the one lander <laughs> didn't work out. The one lander did not work out. Um, on the play, I think I like the blood moons a lot better. And instead of blood moons, we can cut one Sugu. Maybe, maybe two Sugus actually. K Command, Shark Typhoon, all of these would have been okay cards to draw. Not that good, but maybe they, they would have, you know, if we drew a couple of those, we, they would have added up to something. All right, sounds fantastic. Hand is fantastic. Um, we found our basic swamp. I'm trying to think how I want to sequence my stuff, because like I'm, I'm probably gonna find steam vents regardless, but I don't need to. At least until the second turn. So I'm gonna. We're gonna go Delta to start with, then pass. No need to fetch just yet. Now we're gonna get two Brutality with Fluster back up, which is nice. Probably gonna draw two on instep. <laughs> Punished. Um Just gonna pass here, holding up double counter spell. I'm just like it feels like the only way I can lose this game is if somehow the fairy slips through the cracks. As long as I can not get the ferried, um, I think I'm kind of in okay shape. Iteration. Um, let's actually do this right now. Sanctifier and Vec. Interesting. Curious that they wouldn't veto. Like, why would they give me all this information? Like, this is actually some pretty relevant info. Um... The veto. 
Like if they, if they draw the fairy, we're pretty rough shape. That's fine. So many iterations. So little time. Oh baby. Um, okay. So hitting land drops is important. Um, So let's put Blood Moon in hand, Shark bottom, Island exile. Now I'm going to pass the turn. End step, I'm going to attempt to draw two. We'll see what my opponent does. Ugh, find another basic. Luxac. Absolute luck suck. Blue, blue, blue. Do you want to veto this? No veto. Okay. Um, here's an express iteration. I'm having so many two for ones. <laughs> nice. Um, so we're going to set that up. Exile that, play that, and if we jam Blood Moon, my opponent kind of has to counter it. And that means that they don't get to Castle Ventress. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to make my opponent's mana as awkward as possible. Yeah, so they, they, they're they kind of forced to veto there. Otherwise, they just can't cast the veto anyway. So maybe they'll, they'll attempt to draw two here and I'm going to fluster, I think. Um, fluster or dispute? I think I'm going to fluster. <laughs> Storm 5. If they have the Fairy Time Raveler, we're in trouble. But if they draw something like a Jace, uh, like we're in good shape. We can also counter... Um, what's his name? Definitely countering Deluge there. One, two, three, four, five, six. They got six mana. Here we're gonna we're gonna get to resolve Jace. One, two, one, two, three, four. Row three. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. So put Turag on top, put Brutality on top, play this. And I think I want to pass the turn. I could also attempt to call against command here, but I think I'm going to try to Torak next turn. And like Jace plusing is even with the Sanctifier, so I'm not going to be able to. Um, to brainstorm anymore, but that's kind of okay. So, water grave, yes, and let's the shock sucks, but I'm kind of interested in making them discard here. Maybe this is bad. Maybe this is just bad. So black, 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 one. Cast with kicker. Yeah, maybe, maybe that, that end step kicking man was just bad. Counter spell. Sure.
monkey. Okay. Okay, I can draw a monkey. I can draw a monkey. Oh, actually, I should have plus on them because I, I can cast Alvandress on instep. That was a mistake. That was actually a mistake. I want to watch out for memory damage, though. Opponent is basically locked into doing this every turn. They have one card, Fire Ice. Uh, kind of an awkward card to counter, but like Jace is just too valuable, right? <clears throat> Here we can choose what we exile off the monkey. Look, put that on the bottom. Um, yes. Dash. See what we exile? Deluge. Sure. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, monkey. Oh, monkey. <laughs> Just doing monkey things. What a classic. See you next round. All right. Uh, another day, another Warlander. I've learned my lesson, particularly on the play. Particularly on the play. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one though. Let's keep and bottom island. Let's go water great tapped. Say go. One and kept seven. No companion revealed. Esper Sentinel, yikes. Hall, okay. Play the hall. I wonder if this is the, the mana type deck. No, it would be Lurus. Uh, so it's probably Esper Blade. Uh, sorry, Red White Blade, I guess. I, I have to counter this. Which really sucks, but I guess it's just so much pressure. Like Sword of Fire and Ice is gonna be really hard to beat. <clears throat> okay, okay. Definitely feels bad to to do that, but like we can counterspell this turn and then steal a as per sentinel next turn. I'm gonna take two here. Go find Steam Vents. Play that tapped. I mean, also, my opponent not doing anything. It's kind of very good for me. I'm gonna play around Blood Moon in a little bit because I get to, because I can. Um, And if my opponent does nothing, I'm just going to draw two. Like, if they do nothing, I'm just going to draw two. Because, like, Sugu just cleans this up so effic effectively. Smagoose. Mm, okay. Um, it's a little bit mana efficient, but I think I want to counterspell here. Because Charm has... Uh, has much more value. Actually, let's let, let's let's charm. Let's charm here. Let's charm here and see what's up. Um, Sugu would be probably my best draw. Like if I if I draw Sugu, I kind of don't know how I lose. Sugu, we have four copies. You get four copies of Sugu. Would like to not have to push this, but I guess if I have to, I will. Take one. 
better school. Nah. Sugu. Hey. Uh, I'm actually gonna pass the turn here. Because my opponent plays like they play monkey, they play like a bunch of one drops, so they may overextend into this. And I can take the one point, I think. Theory. That's actually a lot of pressure. That's actually a lot of pressure. Sugo unfortunately showed up just a little bit too late. So now my opponent is going to be able to resolve, you know, something. They have nothing. They have nothing, huh? Uh, I think I value activating castle more than hall. Sokin Sun. And I'm going to activate castle as opposed to just blocking with the 7-7. Seven, seven. I got time. And then, I mean, I just have the 3-3, three, three, right? Three three is just gonna cover everything. So Ventress, Sugu, and Dress Down. Yep. Um, I think I want the Dress Down then the Sugu. Again, I don't care too much about the one ones. Not with the three three that's about to come up here. And this makes it so I don't get owned by um, like Stoneforge Mystic or what's his name? Even that one. Yeah, sure. If my opponent wants to trade, I'll take the trade, I think. Now we get some Vantress action. We get to Sugu in next turn. It's a Bolt. I mean, I can definitely do better than a Bolt, but a Bolt is nice insurance against Magus. I'm probably just gonna go just gonna bottom the bolt there. Punished. <laughs> um, black, red, blue. We have enough to Vantress once again. Don't have another Solitude, otherwise it would have been great for them to play that. Ranger Captain is, is pretty good there. And it's one of the reasons to keep Bolt, right? They went for champion instead of Esper Sentinel? That's interesting. Island, Ventress. Um, okay. Deck hooking me up with some iteration value. <clears throat> Thinking here, so I can. I'm just gonna get terminate right. So. Terminate to hand, bottom, exile. The other option would be to go terminate to exile, monkey to hand, and just 
sit on the monkey, but by doing this, I get to activate castle. I think that's more valuable. I'm gonna terminate the Ranger Captain for what's worth. Three mana. Second Ranger Captain's rough. Another Fervent Champion. I think my opponent is just trying to rush me. But... I mean, I guess they have an answer to to the Hidetsu, because like this is just happening next turn. And they're just like overextending into another one. So definitely killing that thing. And end step. I mean, we go to two. I guess we die to bolt. Chase the mind sculptor. So we block one of these. So I guess we can chase into Sugu specifically. I don't think that you know, going for the hall is what I want to be doing. One, two, three, four. So we just gotta brainstorm into the goods. The hidden su goods. Hidden su goods. Um, well, that's just sick. <laughs> that's just absolutely sick. Yep. Um, yep. <laughs> the rips. Oh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. <laughs> Better than all. Better than all, is what they say. Jace the Mind Sculptor, better than all. So here we have an interesting thing. I like, do we want to draw? I think I want to draw and then play the land, even though I know that I have a dead draw amongst this. Yep. Um. Yep. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this deck's just so cracked. Um, this is six, seven, eight, nine, plus seven. So I don't have enough. So I guess because I don't have enough, I want to try to play the value game. So we're going to top, top. Blue red. Oh, I messed up the sequencing. I guess I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay for this anyway. So like it doesn't really matter when I do this. Um, push to hand this delta to exile. Play the delta. Black red one. Sugu. Stuff dies. Pointing concedes. So I'm just not playing bolt. What a game. <laughs> what an absolute banger of a game. All right, so Torax seems fine. Brutality is uh, medium. Um, Shark Typhoon is sort of interesting. That's it. Uh, what do I not like? My removal seems great. Probably monkeys are not great particularly on the, on the draw and just play the full on control dress down seems pretty good Duration. k command seems fantastic let's let's go with this this deck has been looking really good I'm gonna keep seven. I'm gonna keep this one. Like it's risky, but like my opponent's like mono one drops top deck, and I have a Sugu. So sure. I mean that that gets swept away just the same. And it just gets swept away. 
which it's no big deal whatsoever. Let's see what my opponent's got here. Stoneforge. Okay. For what? For Feast and Famine? All right. Not a bad draw. Not a bad draw for sure. Okay. This is fine. If my opponent does nothing, I'm just also going to do nothing. I could dress down. If I dress down, opponent is forced to activate. That means I don't get Kaldrad. So I'm kind of into it. And if my opponent does have the Kaldra, then I can just eat it Sugu and kill the Kaldra. Which is kind of sick. That's pretty insane, actually. <laughs> that's that's pretty damn good. Um, I can also just like sweep the board straight up for zero mana. Seems good. Seems good. Um... Am I really gonna pitch Sugu? I think I have to. It's either pitch Sugu or pitch Iteration. Let's pitch Sugu. Oh, I'm an idiot. Whoops. Um, I mean, it kind of works. <laughs> like, it, oddly enough, this kind of works out, but like, it's obviously not what I wanted to do. Um. Boom, boom, boom. Discard a car, two damage to any target. Uh, no, actually, um, two damage to any target, destroy target artifact. Now your silence resolves. Opponent does have the Caldra. Oh no, sort of your fire nice. Okay. So now they wasted a silence and like they basically just went ahead and discarded a card for no reason. So I'm into that, obviously. Expressive iteration into another iteration. Huh. Yep. Hit my land drop. Pass the turn. I can push this if my opponent attempts to equip. Just playing, just playing cards. Bolt, my fury. You got it. <laughs> That's, that sounds good. I approve of the terms. Look for a land here. Fantastic. This is awesome. So we're going to go, I think, Sugu to hand. No, Torak. No, we can't cast Torak. So Sugu to hand, bottom, exile. Play land that we're holding counter counter magic. We can also just um, fetch for a basic if we need to. Magus. Um, I think I'm gonna fetch for water brave actually. Counter spell. Pass the turn. Looking for a land here. Looking for a land. Archmage's Charm. Because I want to Jace, but if I Jace and I whiff on a land, my opponent resolves a Magus, we may be in trouble. I just can't not Jace here, right? Easy. Never did not have it. Uh, so put that on top. Let's put top, top. Play that, say go. And now we're just gonna get to just gonna get to really do the thing here. Uh, oddly enough, we have to counter that. Ah, uh, actually. Yeah, we have to counter that. Even though we have the answer in, in hand, but like otherwise my opponent gets to just do the thing. Uh, but now I'm going to be able to just Torak, 
Just get the last remaining two cards. Torak has pro this. Draw three. Um, who do we want to shuffle away? Terminating castle. Just the other Jace, I guess, in castle. Play that. Yeah. Just gonna, you know, water grave uh, Torak with kicker. Like, game's obviously over. Wow. Um, this deck's looking really impressive. This deck is looking really, really impressive. Uh, I, I mean, like, this card is just so nuts. This card is absolutely insane. And the 3 3 has mattered so many times already. <laughs> Particularly in this matchup, the 3-3 three, three just mattered so much every single time. Um, I'm really into it. I'm really, really into it. All right, here we go. We're getting paired against uh, actually the same player that we played in the last round. So I'm assuming they're playing some form of <laughs> some form of um, the affinity deck. Maybe they're playing something else. In any case, this this hand is a little bit too too clunky. Can do better. This is this is better. <laughs> uh, sweet. So we're keeping this. I think probably sending Dresna. Dresna is so good against Saga. Am I sending the land? Sending the land is just so greedy. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway and not never look back. Just do it anyway. Never look back. Okay, maybe I should have sent the monkey actually. Kind of an interesting thought. Never mind. Oops, 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 no, no. That's a tilter. <laughs> Ugh, that's a tilter. Um, well, I have six. <laughs> Damn it. Um, it's okay. Ugh. At least they somehow found nothing to blade off the Emery. Oh, never mind. They have the Thought Monitor. Do they have enough? One, two. We only have two artifacts? How on earth do they only have two artifacts? Um, so I'm going to play a monkey. And then pass the turn. Man, just like F6 in turn one. <laughs> kind of. Um, I don't know why. I just like I just brain farted and just didn't do the obvious thing to do. Um So only two artifacts means that we're not too worried about too much. Gonna sit on this dress down. I think I'm just gonna attack with monkey. I'm gonna attack with the monkey and see what my opponent does. They make a construct. So I'm just going to um, Fury, Pitch, Kill, Kill. It's a little bit awkward, but it's fine. Like, uh, I'm just, I'm just, I spent the entirety of this game just playing around my own mistake. It really sucks. It's fine. It's fine, again, I think this matchup is probably pretty favorable for us. So I'm not like super worried. Make another dude. Probably gonna draw to one in step. I guess it depends on what they get.
I assume they 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 remember my deck, so they're probably gonna name. Oh, okay, another drum. So I guess they're missing land drops. <laughs> another drum. Okay. Mono drums. Um. One, two, three, four, five. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two this turn. And I think my opponent has Thought Monitor in hand. So I'm going to dress, save Dress Down for next turn. I'm going to Dress Down in response to the Thought Monitor. That way I get to, you know, counter both things. And if they have Rebuke here, this is even better. Because, okay. Um, that was like a fake. Um... Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five artifacts. We get, we're gonna get to no. Yeah. Dress down now. Opponent could have rebuke, which apparently they do. Maybe they're just tapping this for mana. <clears throat> but this way I'm effectively countering the Thought Monitor and killing the Construct. Just like, I don't really care about the 2-2. Two, two. All right, that's sick. So now Thought Monitor doesn't draw cards <laughs> and I draw a call against Command. I could, just say, I could have F6 through my first turn. I still feel like I'm be pretty far ahead here. Um, nettle cyst. Sure. So I'm gonna get another black source because I already have double red. And. That's a draw step. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This card, dude. This card is so sick. This card is so absurdly sick. It's just so ridiculously insane. Nice little time walk there. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm still not over it. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I just can't get over it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna... This is pretty great here. So dress down, terminate K command. We're just gonna get our two for one, discard a card, destroy artifact. Opponent's got literally nothing. <laughs> Your go. <laughs> Your go. Discarding Force of Negation. There's no way they have enough blue cards to make Force of Negation okay, right? And now we even get a threat for our troubles. Oh my god, this card is just unreasonable. Um... I mean, I'm going to sit on, on, on this Fury, I think. Like, this thing is just going to clock them by itself. And it st just starts growing. I just don't need to do anything. Just attack every turn for three, four, five, etc. <clears throat> sure. <laughs> I draw an expressive iteration. That also works. Force. You got me. Three, yeah. Okay. Three, you say. So how about a four, you know? Man, this, this deck is sick. All right, so Blood Moon uh, seems good. And I think that's it. But I do not want monkeys. So I'm um, going to bring in Shark Typhoon. Oh, no, we, we actually brought in uh, Disputes. Like, Dispute actually counters a lot of relevant stuff. Um, 
cool stress down counter spell yeah <laughs> this card man this card is just not okay <laughs> this card is just not okay all right um one lander two looks at a land and infinite interaction the problem with this hand is that if my opponent goes turn one expert sentinel we we're in trouble <laughs> uh, land easy land told you um i'm just gonna play this stop to say go So if I find the land, probably gonna win the game. <laughs> Easy. Didn't even sweat it. Not for a second did I doubt that we were gonna get there. Not for a second. Never did not have it. I wonder if my opponent just not playing Ursa. That's just crazy to me. There's no way they're not playing Ursa. Um probably get water grape here it's either water grape or steam vents like i need to get a duel but do i want double black or do i want double red i think one double uh, actually i have double push so let's get a water grave and we're gonna dispute this and pay for pay for the thingy yep counter And here I'm just gonna pass the turn, and then I'm gonna sugu my opponent next turn. And it's nice that I also get to threaten the just killing something on end step. Just how do they play around this? They just cannot play around the sugu. Like they just spend their entire turn doing this, and I just spend three mana, and just not only do I undo everything that the saga did, but I also I also just like blow them out and kill the other two spells that they cast. <laughs> this card is ridiculous. This card is absolutely insane. The funniest thing is like I still have to, I have yet to play against uh, like the deck that this card is supposed to be good against. So I'm going to see if my opponent attacks, and now I'm going to just... So by killing one of these, what I'm doing is I am um, preventing my opponent from drawing a card from the Sugu, because otherwise I'm just going to draw two next turn. So I think this is worth it. it it's, it's weird to like kill this literally on the turn prior to me um to me blowing everything up but i think that i'm trading like the mana on my turn for a card in my hand and for my opponent's potential draw step so i think it's very much worth it i think it's very very much worth it and now this just wins the game just straight up the opponent has two lands They don't even draw a card. Like they, they have no mana. Literally no mana. Because I killed their threat on Oh. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so I guess we'll play on. That being the case. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pay here. I'm gonna take five damage. I'm going to take 5 damage here, but then next turn I get to clear the board. Fairy. It just actually doesn't do too much here. So how do we want to do this? Um, So I think I'm just going to Jace 
pay for Sentinel. Just minus on a token. Next turn, we kill the Sentinel. Even if my opponent has Nettle Cyst equip, like they, they just, the Esper Sentinel cannot kill this Jace here because they only have access to two mana. Because if they tap the Sentinel, they can't attack. Sure. And now this coming turn, I get to kill this and just Jace Brainstorm. Get the, bra the Brainstorms going. I'm going to hold on to the Bolt because I can just randomly Bolt this thing if they get a little bit, a little bit greedy. Um, draw three. Sure. So this doesn't do anything. And this I'm going to hold on to. So... Push and pay. Now the question is, do I want to draw? I think I do. Let's just draw two. Maybe they have rebuke. It's kind of whatever. Like I still have an active Jace. Pass the turn. Like they have an active Teferi, but like it's not doing anything. Like it's it's blanking my counter spell, but like now I just get to kill this, and then now this is live again. Yeah, this I, I don't think my opponent can win anymore. Peating needle, like naturally draw a peating needle right now. Another Jace, so put that on top, put that on top, play land, attempt to bolt, maybe it resolves, maybe it doesn't, maybe they have another force, they don't. Um, okay, so now I just pass the turn, uh, because I, I have a counter spell on top, and I can dress down into a second counter spell. This is this is just garbage time. Like I, I don't think I can lose from here. We are done. Uh, does that even matter? Does that even matter? Does that even matter? I mean, it just gives me an excuse to play the Sugu now. So I guess it doesn't matter. In fact, it's kind of actively good for me. Brainstorm. I assume the game's just over now. Um, top that. Ooh, actually I get to play a threat. One, two, three, seven. Yeah, I get to play a threat. So that's nice. Uh, I think that's better than playing this Sugu here. Because it allows me to kill, kill them faster. We're, we're, we're just in garbage time here. Subtlety. <laughs> oh, my opponent's deck is bizarre. All right. How? So they have Force of Negation. They have the Fairy Time Raveler. They have... Uh, and they're playing all of these cards in their Reality Heist deck? They're playing all of these cards in their Reality Heist deck. Like, how how do they ever hit anything of Reality Heist with so many whiffs? I just don't get it. Le Garbosh. I'm so far ahead that I'm just I'm just gonna wait one of these Sugus. Just gonna get rid of you know my opponent's stuff. Like they could they have stuff where affinity matters. So let's do black, red, and this. Holding up double counter spell. Mm. 
rebuke. Oh, um, I, I actually meant to counterspell there, but sure, like it was a misclick, whatever. Okay, it just, like, again, like I, it doesn't matter. Like my opponent could stack their deck and they can't win. My opponent could just stack their deck from this point on and like draw their best possible card every single turn and it's just not going to matter. All right, 4 0. Can I get the 5 0 <laughs> with this pile? Maybe. See you there. All right, the moment of truth. Can we get the trophy? Um, we get interaction in the early game. We got card advantage. We got a couple of planeswalkers. And we got some land drops. Okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. Like, I'm not super sold on it. Definitely would like to have access to like a fatal push or something like that in case we need that. But it's probably still like too good to pass up. Can we draw a monkey? That would be pretty great. Um, watery grave. That's fine. Play that tapped. Say go. Um, Pawning goes Misty Rainforest. I'm assuming it's some sort of control deck. Yep. Um, maybe blue white. Maybe four color. Who knows? But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to settle in. Oh, creativity. No, it can't be creativity because they they have Misty. So it's it's probably like. But they don't have a Yorion. So no companion. Weird. Okay. They shocked for the stomping ground and they they backed up on it. Kind of surprised. I wonder if this is like Dryad? See some Pyromancer. Oh, this is the Cascade deck. That's what it is. It's the um, the Omnath Cascade deck. Yeah, the Glimpse. The Glimpse deck. Well, Sugu. Not looking great here. Terminate. I'm going to terminate the Season Pyro here. Speaking of Sugu. Hmm. Get an island, and I think I mean I don't have a counter spell, so I'd rather make sure that my opponent's like their glimpse is as bad as possible. So they're, they're if they glimpse now, they're gonna glimpse for four, for five. Sorry, maybe that's beatable. Like it's it's unfortunately just didn't throw my counter magic. But like they, they obviously go for it here, right? There's no way they don't. Um, interesting. So, well, I guess I can minus for another Charless agent. But at that point, they're they're out. They went for Connie. Yeah, this is, man, this is just. <sighs> It's just, it's just not a good play. And I feel like it's such a common thing to happen with people just, just overvaluing the interaction between card and coding. Um, like it's just, it's just not very often as good to, to go for the coding line. I'm going to lead on narration here. See what we find. We find Counterspell. Oh, that's great. So we're going to go Counterspell, this, and Exile. Play my land, Fury, Iteration. We're going to kill Karn, kill Plant Token. And my opponent has this stupid coding that doesn't do anything. So three and one. And finally enough, we like we're gonna be winning. <laughs> we even we're even winning the race now <laughs> with the Sugu. So yeah, I don't know. I if my opponent had imagine if my opponent had got another Shardless Agent there instead of getting they would they would have continued to go off instead of just like achieving nothing. It just feels so weird to me. Anyway. 
good for me, I guess. Execute the chase. Let's draw three. It's not the best draw three I've ever seen. So let's put these on top, I guess. Play this out and say go. Um, Jace is protected. We even have another Jace. So my opponent has kind of this turn to do something of uh, like really big impact. Oh man, that's that's something of really big impact. That certainly qualifies. So this is kind of weird. But if I wanted. I could like bounce my own vessel to enable push so I can kill the Omnath. I know there's a mountain on top of my deck. But if I do that, then I can just. I guess I can play second Jace. The thing is, if I whiff, I'm in so much trouble. I'm going to draw three though. We did with. <laughs> I guess we are in trouble. Um, I, don't, I mean, just holding up counter magic is so important, though. Let's put these two on top. Going to attack. Let's see if my opponent blocks. Maybe they'll block. Sick. That's awesome. So. enabled play monkey so my opponent can't attack Jace pass the turn holding up counter spell the problem is we, we still have a couple of whiffs on top of our deck so I'm not too stoked about that stomp my dude alright I'll bite I'll bite the thing is that this also counters the 4-3, right? So that's why I think it's worth a counter spell there. They don't attack. Interesting. Um, well, I am going to attack. Brainstorm again. Okay. Um, that's like not the most terrible thing I've ever seen. So we got a push on a, the stupid land that we just cannot find a fetch land. <laughs> cannot get rid of that stupid mountain. Um, wave Sifter. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I'd rather save my counter spell for something more impactful. Oh, like that. Definitely more impactful. Brainstorm? Jeez. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this, this sucks, but it is what I got. At least we can kill Omnath with the trigger on the stack if my opponent finds one. But if they find the glimpse here, we're, we're in a lot of trouble. Something tells me that they're going to have the glimpse. Yep. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. Like we just we just couldn't find the land quickly enough. I feel like we were winning this game like all the time up until this very last turn. <laughs> like any counter spell would have been enough. Any counter spell that very last turn would have been enough, but we just whiffed on the turn where we didn't have to. We're just too slow. I mean, we we can still. Um, we can still find a bolt. We have two lightning bolts that we're going towards. We have four looks. We know the top of my deck is blanks. It's another fatal push and. Um, What's his name?
and the, the stupid mountain. So we got four looks at finding exactly Lightning Bolt. Okay, I mean, I don't have anything better to do, so that's it. They're out of glimpses, I think. Yep, they're out of glimpses. So this is this is it. Like, can we find the blinding bolt in four cards? Can we find the lightning bolt in four cards? All comes down to this. Snare drum? It's not it. That is not it. Three more looks. Ah! That's also not it. Um, am I dead? Jump here, take three, six, nine. Yeah, we're dead. Ah, that's pretty brutal. So, Fluster looks good. Brutality, probably not great. Uh, I do like Negation. Pushes look heinous. Blood Moon, maybe? Maybe on the play. Sugu not looking great. Torak maybe better. I guess I guess they have a bunch of tokens, so Sugu's not that terrible. Dressdown is legit though. Um this kill Somnath. I can't believe how long we had Jace going and how long we whiffed. Dressdown's great, Torax fine, K commands good against the Karn. I want all my counter magic, do not dispute. I'm just gonna cut it, Jace. Um, I should cut a bolt, actually, that would have been the better the better one. Um that's not good enough. This is better. I like this better. I think I'm gonna bottom the call against command. Gemstone caverns. Pitching bone crusher. Okay. Did I bring in blood moons? I honestly forgot. I did. Okay, so probably wanna try to yeah, maybe the Blood Moon slash Torak plan is, is not where I want to be. Sure. Maybe it's just too awkward. Cracking clue. Not opposed to that. Okay, nice. So we're gonna we're gonna go the Torak route, I guess. So we're gonna go Water Grave, Blood Crypt. I guess it's just gonna find an island here. Black, black, black one. Opponent can have Fury. Oh, we did get some good stuff. We did get some good stuff. We could get some good stuff. Um, five cards in hand. They discarded a car and the great creator. So we're gonna force pitch dress down. Sure. Now this is a five four. A six five, sorry. Blood Moon. Okay, um, 
I mean, it's kind of awkward, but let's go. Maybe we should have gotten a swamp. I mean, I'm going to pitch the Archmage's Charm to the... <clears throat> to the Force, probably. Just going to cycle here. Nice. Very nice. Quite, quite nice. So if they find the land, they get a couple of new chomp blockers, which is a little bit annoying, but also not the end of the world. Also, they can't really cast any other spells. Fury. Send for six, pass the turn. Interesting that they wouldn't block there. I, I'm saving the Fury on purpose, like I didn't want my opponent to get value there. So any land is probably my best draw here. Is my opponent trying to race? Wait, how's, how's that going to work? Whoops. There we go. Like Fury? They have their own Fury, maybe? I mean, it still doesn't work, right? We just get the Torak. That was nice. That was nice. Alright, do we want to keep the Blood Moons on the draw? Do we want to keep the Blood Moons on the draw? That's the question. Um, I still don't think Sugu is great. I'm going to keep a couple of copies, but I don't want that many. Dispute counters Omnath, and that's about it. So, oh, they show me the fairy. They're playing four colors. Yeah, so I guess I won't dispute. Never mind. Um, and we can cut the terminates, cut the bolts. Yeah, yeah, that's probably it. All right, let's do that. Let's do that and see how it goes. All right, for the five and zero, can uh, can Grixis Sugu get there? Can Grixis Sugu get there? Yeah, not gonna ship this hand. That's a Kahalni Garden. So now we can fetch basic island here, which is nice. Because we have a red source in the blood crypt. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slamming this blood moon like there's no tomorrow. I'm slamming this blood moon like there's no tomorrow. Island, play this. Blood moon, here we go. Maybe they have force. Nah, they can't have force, right? Maybe they have a foundation breaker? Is Turak not looking great? <laughs> Turak not looking fantastic, but it's fine. Alright, so now we get to protect the Blood Moon, which is puts us in a Fairly commanding position here. And I'm I want to make sure that I can counter a card the great creator, so that's why I'm not um, I'm gonna play out this Storak here. My opponent has uh they have the uh, the giant. 
of the giant. But like by playing out the Torak, like I'm not gonna be able to kick it. And by playing it out, if my opponent has Season Pyro, that puts them in an awkward spot. Like this is just perfectly fine. This is perfectly fine. No big deal at all. Maybe we'll just get to cheese them out with Blood Moon. And like they used the Fury to kill my my dude instead of using it to kill my own Fury that I'm gonna be playing next turn. Yeah, that's great. Um, well, obviously we want Monkey. So I guess we go Iteration, Exile, Land, play this land, cast Monkey. And I want to cast it as opposed to dashing it so I can start netting mana. And I guess this is a way to actually cast the Torak. Holding up this beauty in case my opponent has something worth uh, blowing up. Wow, they just lock sacked into the land. Brutal. Pretty brutal. They have, I, th I think they have a single island. So, extremely lucky that they weren't able, they were able to draw it naturally. Oh man, really? <laughs> really, this is how it's gonna go? They have dispute for this, yep. Oh man, this is how this is gonna go? I can't believe it. All right, cross our fingers. Ooh, all right, so they, they kind of whiffed. See what they do here. They somehow found their basic uh, their basic forest again, which is hilarious. But I'm pretty good at drawing their their stuff. Uh, this makes my monkey a little bit worse. And by a little bit, obviously, I mean significantly. But I don't know. Maybe they will like go for coding again, and I we just get to <laughs> do whatever we want with it. You know, um, a plus the fairy. Plus the fairy and plus the Karn. I'm gonna try to find the land here. Like we they up the fairy, so hand, bottom, exile. So now we play Fury, kill their stuff. It's fine. Attack. Fairy? Yeah, I think we'll attack the fairy. Because, like, it doesn't do anything, right? The um, This means that they can't mine us. And attacking, attacking Karn doesn't do anything. It's still at four. And not only that, but also... Um, yeah, I mean, they, they just... I mean, this is what this deck has, right? Like, you're just rolling the dice, and then sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes, like, this happens, and now all of a sudden you're, like, you were a lot... My, I mean, my opponent was a lot closer... The game was a lot closer before my opponent executed their combo. Like, now now they did execute their combo, and, like, they're actually behind, uh, which is kind of stupid. Like, that's why I don't like that deck at all, but people seem to like it. I mean, it, it's fun, you know, like, just spin the wheel, hope you get lucky. Um, okay, and here I'm going to kill. Oh, I guess I, you know, I actually can't kill the Karn with K command. I mean, there's nothing I really want to play at instant speed. So, oh, we can get back Monkey. That's sick. Okay, so return target creature. Deal. From give it to your hand, deal two damage. So return target creature, deal two damage. Black, red, red. Dash monkey. Monkey hits Tef. Fury hits Karn. Monkey comes back. I almost forget about the, the mode on Colgan's command that gets back the creature. Sweet. So my opponent can spin again, but no, they just get a bone crusher. Alright. Um 
can we do here? <laughs> Them spinning into the into the forest is a little bit tilting, honestly. Um, let's dash monkey and monkey goes face. This goes at Tef. On the land. So now we, we actually have Archmage's Charm. So let's go Shock, get back to Rack. Um, I don't think this card really does anything. Return target creature, Shock. And we can't hold up Charm. But we're going to be able to hold up Charm next turn. Easy! 5-0! Let's go, man! Let's go! This deck is awesome. I'm really liking this deck. I'm really, really liking this deck. Um, sweet. Sweet. Let's do it. Alright, folks. Wrapping up this league. Um, I did like the monkeys a lot. I think the monkeys looked very, very good. Um, honestly, the main deck looked absolutely fantastic. Like, I liked everything that's going on. The Furies were extremely relevant. The Jaces won multiple uh, multiple matches. Uh, Hiratsugu is just, <laughs> just ridiculous. Um, and, like, the Colligan's Command were surprisingly good. Like, obviously, like, I came into, into you know, the deck list thinking, okay, King Command is just historically a great card. Um, but maybe it can be a little bit awkward. Um, but, no, it actually worked out really well. And... The get back a creature mode was relevant, which is very nice. Like, I wasn't expecting it to be as relevant as it ended up being. Um, but, uh, yeah, it looked really, really powerful. Um, I'm a big, big fan of everything that, that just happened there. Um, the Cyber definitely needs a, a ton of work. Um, I think the Torak just is not a card that we can afford to play. Like, it's close. Like, the card is obviously so, so powerful. And, like, when you play against, like, the blue-white control decks, it's great. Um... Uh, and stuff like that, but at the same time, like, you're trying to be more red-centric, and you're trying, you know, to blood on your opponent, so, like, it can be super awkward many times, like, you, you kind of have to choose what you want to be doing, and um, maybe you just can't afford to do that, maybe this should be something else, still unclear what it, it can be, uh, but it looked, it looked kind of uh, awkward multiple times, uh, Blood Moon was actually quite good. It came up multiple times. Uh, Brutality was meh. It, it was here mostly against the Agrodex, but we didn't face any, so it didn't really matter. And, you know, the, the rest of the, the counter magic against the combo decks and, like, against the control decks, it was was just fine. Uh, Nile Spell was actually kind of uh, sweet as well. Um, but we didn't, you know, like, this is just, like, a necessary evil. Like, we just have to run this against the, the combo decks, so... Yeah, um, yeah, you can expect me to be continue working on this deck because it was not only a lot of fun, but it was, I mean, as you saw, <laughs> it was quite, quite good, quite, quite powerful. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure you hit that uh, like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below in the description um, and tell me what you thought about it. And uh, as I, sorry, in the description, uh, you can find uh, more information in case you're interested in something like coaching or something like, uh, you know, having a donor deck list and seeing your deck uh, played on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, really, really appreciate you checking it out. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye.